Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at day one of a 12 day review of fourth grade mathematics and we are going to get started here looking at some items from the 2017 released star test in Texas. And so our very first and second item that we're looking at today are going to be dealing with expanded notation. And you see expanded notation right here. It's the way that we're writing this 7 times 10, 3 times 1,000, 1 times 100. That's showing you that these are the place values we're looking at. The 7 and the one, the 7 is in the tens place, the 3 is in the thousands place, the 1 is in the hundreds place. So they're giving us a mystery number, and all we know are the value of these three digits. So let's take a look at our answers. We're trying to find the number that could fit and I see that every single answer goes to the hundredths place. So let's go ahead and get that right here. So I'm going to put, that's my tenths, that's my hundredths. Three of the four go to the thousands. This B goes to the ten thousands. So I'll just go up to the ten thousands. So that's ones, tens, make that a little bit bigger, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So let's fill in the information they give us. We'll stack up the other ones underneath it and see which one matches. So the value of the digit 7 is 7 times 10. That's letting us know that the 7 is in the tens place. Remember, our tens place is right here. So we're going to put a 7 right there. The value of 3 is 3 times 1,000. So our thousands place is going to be right here. That is going to be a 3. And then the value of 1 is 1 times 100. So that is a one in the hundreds place. So that's it, everything else is blank. So let's line up our numbers underneath that. A is going to be 3,175 and two hundredths. That looks like it can work. Let's just be super safe and check the other ones. The next one is 93,075 and one Hundredth. And you see, here's our problem right there. It doesn't have a one in the hundreds place. So we'll get rid of that. C is going to be 3,651. That's wrong in two different spots. And 70 hundredths, so that's a definite no. And we've got 9,372 and... 100. So that doesn't have any digit correct. It is wrong, wrong, and wrong. So it's pretty obvious there, but this is the way that it would be a good suggestion for solving this is spreading everything out, filling in your clues first, and then lining up everything underneath so you can clearly see that A is going to be our correct answer. So let's look at our second problem for today. It's going to be number 27 from the same test. And we're also looking at expanded notation again, but look at now we have a decimal. So let's just go ahead and draw this out. 47 and 600. So remember, this is your tens place. This is your ones place. This is the tenths. And this is the hundredths because we're going into the decimals. And so it's 10 and 100, but we have that at the end, the TH. So how do we express this Four. Well, we write expanded notation is like this. You write four because that's the digit that's there times the place. So that's the tens place. So that's four tens. And then you're going to add it kind of like you would expanded form to the ones place. And so what's the digit? The digit is seven. What's the place worth? It's worth one. So seven times one. And that's where we sometimes mess up because we just don't put the times one. But you need the 4 times 10 plus the 7 times 1. Now we're going to skip this simply because there's a 0 there. And so we're not going to add 0 or anything times 0. Now we just need to add this. So the tens place is worth 10. The ones place is worth 1. That makes sense. The tenths place is worth, no, that's wrong. It's worth a tenth, not a hundredth. And then the hundredths place is worth the hundredths. You notice it matches the place value there. So we're going to need to bring in this last digit, 6. We're going to need to multiply it by its place value. And it's in the hundredths, not the tenths place. So that's how we would write this number in expanded notation. 
And it looks like our answer is going to be A once again. You see that B is really close, but they have that 6 in the tenths place, not the hundredths place. C is extremely confused. They don't have any decimals at all. And then D, same thing. They have the 10 rather than the tenths. And they have 100 rather than 100, so no decimals. So the answer is going to be A. And our final problem for today, let's see, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to be looking at comparing and ordering numbers. Now, comparing and ordering is something that you've been doing probably since kindergarten. So this is not a difficult skill. The only thing that makes it slightly interesting is that we, as you can notice here, we have a different way of showing our list. So we're looking from least to greatest, but take a look at how they answer all of these. We have a series of numbers with less than signs. We're going to put these in order from least to greatest. So here's your least, here's your greatest, but rather than just putting commas, we're going to use the less than sign. And then the question is going to ask us which one comes third. So that's kind of tricky as well. So let's go ahead and line up our hippos here. So I'm just going to put the hippo letters so I can at least keep track of them, W, X, Y, and Z. And we'll do what our teachers have taught us to do. We're just going to line up our numbers, one on top of each other. I'm going to ignore the commas just because I don't want to get sloppy and pretend the comma is a one. So I'm going to write each digit underneath uh, the one up above it so it's all lined up because they're all going to go to... 3,000, so that's going to make them all very close. It's the hundreds place that's going to make the difference for us. And so we're going to look for the smallest one first. We're going from least to greatest. So they all have three in the thousands place, so we're going to not use that. Now we're going to go to the hundreds place, and you notice I've got two sixes. So I'm going to look at my X and my Y. So since they're both sixes, I need to go to the tens place, and it's this four. This four is smaller than the nine. I'm going to cross it out so I know I've used it, and I'm just going to write this for us, 3,648, which means this Y is going to come next, 3,699. But the way I show that is I'm going to put a less than sign here. So it would read 3,648 is less than 3,699. Now the last two are both in the eight and the hundreds place, so once again, we're going to go to the tens place, and it's this Z, this zero. It's going to be smaller. So we're going to write 3,806. But I'm going to write a less than sign. And I'll do the same thing for our W, which happens to be the largest one, 3,894. So if I wanted to read this from left to right, I would say 3,648 is less than 3,699 is less than 3,806 is less than 3,894. I keep saying less than because that is the less than symbol. The way you can tell which one is which, which is the less than symbol can actually be turned into an L if you uh, tilt it a little bit. The one that cannot, that's the greater than symbol. So this is greater. So now let's go back to our actual problem. We have the list and it's asking for the third one in order. So it's going to be this 3806, but we have to match this to the correct letter. The 3806 was actually hippo Z. So we are going to say it's this right here. Let's, it says our hippo Z. Let's make sure that we match the numbers in order. So it's got that one first, that one second, that one third. There we go. That one fourth. So this is a very tricky one involves quite a few steps, but make sure you've got that right. And that's it for today. So if you want, you can check out my website, aarondaffron.com. You can see the post for tomorrow, fourth grade math review, day two.